A recent Gallup study found that just 20% of us say that we love our jobs. And if that's the case, why do so many of us that are in our 50s and 60s continue working? We have a limited number of healthy, active years with our full mental acuity. So why are we spending them at work? You know, a lot of us would say, well, we're working because it gives us purpose, it gives us meaning, we have friends at work, it's part of our identity, it's who we are. And that's all true, but let me ask you this. If you won $100 million in the lottery tonight, do you really think you'd still be working 12 months from now? Probably not. So if in your subconscious you're thinking you continue to work because you don't know what else you would do that would be better than this, stay tuned because I'm gonna share three evidence-based approaches that you can take to reignite passions and make you excited about the next chapter of your life and, and possibly save you from wasting some of the youth of your retirement. Hi, I'm Asul Wells. I help seven and eight figure entrepreneurs, executives, and everyday next door millionaires like yourself live their best retirements. If you're 50 years old, you likely only have at most 30 years where you're healthy, active, and have your full mental acuity. That's not a lot of time, and we wanna make sure we're squeezing all the juice out of this one life that we have to live. So what does it take to retire? What does it take to leave work and to do that successfully so you can move on to the next chapter of your life? Research tells us there's three keys. Having meaningful, deep relationships with people that you care about, having purpose in your life, and having passions. Today's video focuses on passions. I'm gonna share with you three techniques to reignite your passions. And the third one tends to be the one that's most impactful. So be sure to watch until the end. The first one is T-I-M-E, time. Give yourself time to pursue new interests, to pursue new activities, to, to get your body as physically healthy as you can, to, to get your mind in as positive a state as you can. It's gonna help build your confidence and being confident will make you more receptive to new passions and to trying new things out. Remember, you don't need an activity, a passion for the next five years of your life. Really look for something for the next, something you can be excited about for at least the next six to 12 months. It's kind of a transition that you're going from. You're going from working into retirement and, and what is that transition? What gets you excited? Because once you leave the comfort of work, you're gonna find a lot of passions that you're gonna be interested in. So give yourself the time to do that. The second technique is work remotely. And not just work remotely from your house, but from a new location, a new city, or even better, a new country. We have the flexibility now to do this, or at least many of us do. And being in a new setting, in, in a new city where we don't know our surroundings, where we're, we're interacting with new people and a new culture is gonna get exciting and it, it's gonna take you out of your comfort zone. It's gonna take you off autopilot, which is what we're looking for. So if you can work remotely, maybe for a month, uh, that would be great. And imagine working remotely from Europe for a month, totally different setting. You and your spouse go to Europe, see if that's something that you're interested in. A lot of people say that they wanna travel when they retire. See what that experience is, is like. So you can probably work remotely, talk to your boss about it. I think there's a high likelihood um, you can make that happen. And the third technique is something you can do before you quit your job as well. And it's something that I call mini retirements. Explore different activities that you think you might want to do in retirement. Maybe you wanna get involved in the local not-for-profit and give yourself a little more time than just a weekend or a week of vacation. If you can get off a month to three months, maybe it's a sabbatical, maybe it's between positions at your, your current job, maybe you can negotiate that with your team. Give yourself time to iterate and to explore different things. And what you wanna see is, what activities are, get you excited and are you passionate about and which ones don't work? It's kind of like the launch of a new product for an entrepreneur. They want to iterate. They want to try different things out. They want to make sure they have what they call a product market fit. Uh, in this case, it's, it's a product market fit with yourself. So give yourself permission to, to fail and to try different things and to move quickly. And hopefully you can get three or four of these mini retirements in 
before you actually get to the point where you retire. And even if you're in your 30s or 40s, you can do this as, as, as you're transitioning between jobs, or maybe you're thinking about going back to business school. You can take a couple months off or, or maybe even a year before you start business school and, and try out different activities, try out different things that you think you might be passionate about. And finally, remember, this is supposed to be fun. It's serious work, it's important work, but it's also a huge adventure. It's a chance to try new things and to let loose and to put yourself into new settings and allow yourself the freedom and the excitement and, and frankly, the, the opportunity to do things wrong. That's okay. Allow yourself that freedom. Have fun with it. Okay, that's it for now. Thumbs for likes and subs for love. And be sure to watch my next video where we're gonna to continue to talk about living your best life in retirement. Until next time, I'm Masul, encouraging you to take full advantage of the youth of your senior years. Remember, you're only young once. Use this time wisely.